So after a recent CS2 update, a lot of cheats have broken, and this was posted on Unknown Cheats a lot. These are just a few examples of everyone freaking out over the entry list changes. In this video, I hope to better explain how you can reverse your own offsets in IDA and find any future entry list changes. The only prerequisite for this video is to have a version of IDA Pro. We'll begin by navigating to CS2's game directory, navigating to game, CSGO, bin, and win64, then copying client.dll into a separate folder anywhere on your PC. We can now start disassembling and looking for our offsets. Now we will just launch IDA, click OK, start a new disassemble, then click client.dll that we have copied, click OK, and soon it will ask us for a PDB file, which is a development file that we obviously do not have. So we will just click no. And now client.dll is loading into our database. Now I am just waiting for IDA to finish disassembling. We can tell where it's at at the very top, and we can tell that it is still going through everything inside the program. Now that IDA has finished compiling, we will go to edit, segments, rebase program, image base, and rebase the entire program to the value of 0x0. Hello, post edit here. We are rebasing the entire program to OXO, so when we do find an offset, it's correct, and there's no need to subtract it from a different value. To begin searching for our desired offset, we will need two things. Number one is to know the name of the offset, and number two is to bring up the string list inside the program. We can bring up the string list by pressing Shift plus F12. Now, inside of the strings menu, we can press Ctrl F to bring up a search bar. And now we will paste in the name of our string or offset. Mine will be m underscore h player pawn. We will double click into the string. Now, here we can see where it is in the memory. We will be cross referencing on this. Press X on your keyboard. It will come up with multiple results. Usually, the offset is at the first one. Double click again. Now here we can see where it's loaded and we are putting 8 into OFC. So the offset will become 8FC. And because we've rebased the program to OXO, this is in fact the correct offset. Now we can compare our offset to the one in A2X. We can just press Ctrl F and paste in our offset again. And as we can see, the offset is in fact correct. Now we can move on to what this video is fully about which is finding the entity list in IDA and seeing any changes. We will begin by finding the entity list offset, which is located inside A2X dumper at offsets.hpp. Now from the strings tab, we will navigate back into IDA view a press G to jump to, paste in our offset, click OK. Now on the highlighted offset, we will cross reference again, which is pressing X. Now we can click on any of the subtracts. It will bring up a page like this. And now simply just click F5 to generate pseudocode. And this will be the internal entity list inside Counter-Strike 2. Here we can see what the entity list looks like internally and how it's called. And as we can see, 112LL reflects the newest entity list changes. It has changed from 120 bytes down to 112 bytes. And if you've ever wondered why your external chief filters the way it does, it is because of the internal struct. I highly recommend you utilize A2X Dumper, however, since reversing yourself would be pointless and a complete waste of time. In this part of the video, I will show you how to compile the latest A2X version, since their release build is outdated. Before doing any compiling, we will first need to download the Rust language, since A2X Dumper is written in Rust. We'll just click 1 and enter. The installation will take a while. I will quickly cut to when it's done. We will now navigate back to A2X Dumper, press code, and download that zip. Now we will navigate to our downloaded zip file. We can extract it out into any folder. I have just chosen the CS2 folder we have created earlier. To begin compiling our program, first we will open up a command prompt as administrator. Now we'll press cargo dash dash version. 
This will check if Cargo has installed properly. Now we will write CD and copy paste the directory link and press enter. Now that we are inside, we can simply call cargo build and this will start building A2X dumper. After it's done compiling, a new folder will show up in CSU dumper main called target. We will click in, click into the debug file and now we have our own compiled cs2dumper.exe. Always make sure you are compiling the source yourself and getting it directly from A2X's GitHub and please try and avoid downloading random exes on the internet. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it helps someone in the future also struggling with entity list problems. If you've made it this far into the video already, you've probably enjoyed the video. Please drop a like and subscribe and feel free to comment any issues that you may run into while following my tutorial.